Now that we are familiar with both Twilio and Pusher, we can start using them in conjunction with each other to create powerful web applications. One of the more trivial applications is facilitating a callback request from a user. Let's look at how we can build this. First, we need to ask our user for their phone number and other details. Second, this data needs to be submitted to Pusher and to be streamed to our sales team to call back the user. The user then needs to be told that their request has been received, and then we need to connect to Pusher and wait for updates on the progress of the request in real time, which we will relay instantly to the user. To start, we will need a simple form to collect a few pieces of information from our users, including their telephone number, name, and the reason they're requesting a callback from a member of our team. As we are going to be using Pusher to listen for updates on our callback request, we need to include the Pusher JavaScript client. We will also need jQuery and an MD5 function, which we will see why in a moment. When a user submits their callback request form, we need to submit the form asynchronously, hide the form so the user doesn't submit it again, inform the user their request has been received, connect to Pusher and relay any updates regarding our user's callback request to the user. Because multiple users may submit callback requests, each user should listen to a different channel, so they only receive updates related to their callback request. We need to use a value that will be known server-side too, as when we issue the callback, we need to push to the same channel. To answer this, we can use a hash of the user's phone number and prefix it with something like request. This is why we need the MD5 function, so that we can hash the user's phone number and combine it with the word request. When we receive a callback request, we can then push this request to Pusher so it goes to our operators waiting to call users back. We could have bypassed the server side of this application and used Pusher client events to communicate from one Pusher client to another. However, in this application, we would ideally want to store the callback requests in a database so callbacks can be facilitated at a later stage if we don't have any operators waiting for our call to call our users back in real time. Here we have simply instructed our web page to submit a callback request and then listen for updates on Pusher for updates on the callback request. Now we need to show these callback requests to our operatives. 